guys, have y'all ever been in a situation where you needed to charge up a lithium battery and the only thing you're working with is a car, a truck, a boat, solar wall, and you want to know how to do it? Stay tuned. Lead acid and lithium? What? All right, I'm going to drop a little message here. Watch the whole thing. If you feel like donating, please do. Keeps us going, allows me to do these things. And I'm going to show you a difference between this and this significant difference, what this can do and how easy it really is. So stay tuned. All right. All right, as you've seen there in the beginning, we're going to discuss a little bit about charging lithium batteries. And are you stuck? Are you stuck with $100 for this, $75 for this, $65 for this, or is there a better way to charge your lithium batteries from, you know, your old stuff, your old system, or for just anything, from anything? Now, we're going to be doing a video soon showing a wind turbine output into lead acid and then from lead acid into lithium. You do not want to send a wind turbine, hydroelectric, or even some generators straight into lithium. They pulse. The BMS thinks that's a, an error and it disconnects and then you could damage your gear. But let's get into this because I see a lot of these people They'll pay $300 for a battery, and then the, the same company selling a battery says, but uh, but you need this 20-amp charger for $169. It's special. In fact, it's so special that the short bus called UPS will deliver it for you. But you don't need it. You, you just don't need it. If you've already got an existing solar panel, you already got, you're already covered. If you've got an existing car battery, uh, yeah, car battery. You got it covered. You can start your car, turn your car off, run it, turn it off, connect, and it'll take the charge out of the car battery down to about equal to whatever the lithium battery is, so you can boost it up. If you have a modern car and you turn off all your appliances in the car, AC, all that stuff, you can get in a cigarette lighter plug and charge this. Just make sure your voltage is in the realm of what you're dealing with. So a lithium battery is no different. Let's walk over here. It is no different. I know. Everybody who's going to have a stroke have one now. But a lithium battery don't don't know it's a lithium battery. And and a smart BMS is actually not smart. They're stupid. A lithium battery can be hooked up to lead acid. Lithium to lead acid. To lead acid. Whoop. Now I've got these jumpers in. I've, I've, got the, I've got my ceiling tore open to run new cable. Okay, hush up. See, so I've got four gauge copper clad crap, just a cheap set of jumpers, uh, running power over to. Let me show you here. Over to my freezers. So I got a whole pile of DC powered freezers, and they're plugged in down here. Now they show you a horrible voltage because they're using 16 gauge. That's what they're supplied with. And they show you over here is what, 12.8, something like that. There, that's better. 12.7 on that one. They're running, so they're pulling it down because the wire, the wire provided with these, it's never strong enough. We're going to be changing them out to 12 or 10 gauge back here. All right. 30 amp hour lithium, 30 amp hour lithium, 50 amp hour lithium, 7 amp hour lead acid. What? 7 amp hour lead acid. What? 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 Boom! No, really, it didn't blow up, and it's not going to. Now, the chemistry of this and the chemistry of this, they don't actually know about each other. This ain't Karen and this ain't Kevin, so they're not snitching on each other. 
this is 12 volts, 12.8, 12.8. Charges to 14.6, charges to 14.6. Ooh, what are we hearing here? Look, oh, get that little wire out of the way here. Well, that's a spare wire. Let's, let's hook that one up, huh? <laughs> All right, so what do you have is you have, let's see here. I'll clip it back on there and knocked it off here. But you have nothing but volts, V-O-L-T-S, volts. Now, you can say, but Ohm's law, yeah, Ohm's law tells you conversion, current, amperage, voltage. But the battery doesn't know about Ohm's law. It don't know what a Coulomb is. It don't know any of the math. It just knows that it's 12 volts. 12 volts or if it was 24 and 24 you don't put 24 with 12 well you can but you have to use a buck charger and i'll show you those in another video coming soon too i'll show you how to take that battery and charge this 36 volt battery oh, right there okay from a 12 volt battery bank from your rv from your boat from your neighbor's house don't get caught all right so this is all of this let me show you this and I, I, I'm blurry going, I'm staggering a little, so don't get pissy. My legs are still functional, but not great. All right, so sitting over here, I have a 12-volt battery, lithium. And these are my wind turbine batteries. These are, for th these are intentionally later for 36-volt because I'm going to have a 48-volt wind turbine in a low-wind area. Fill 36-volt, and I'm going to use one of my controllers, my OPCs, yeah, go back and further videos to charge that. And then that 36 volts is going to charge any battery I have. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's the capacity I'll need for that wind turbine that's 800 watts. So we'll get into that too. Here's that lithium battery. And that lithium battery right now has 12.91 volts. Now I was charging it earlier. And if you see this over here, that power plane, 200 amp, that was charged the same way. I'm about to show you this, and it's fine, and no smoke. And, of course, this over here is charging because this oops is a piece of crap, and if you just let it sit for a day, it'll lose half its charge. So I leave it on charger so we can use it out for weed eating and kicking around like a volleyball. Otherwise, it's worthless. Now, back to this. So I've got 12.9. I got all this amperage coming in. It's early in the morning. All right, it's only 9.40 or something like that. So these are only about halfway. But I've got 14.6 already in my battery bank. So I'm working with, oh, wait, I'm working with, somewhere it says 14.6. It charges at 14.6. So what is the difference between 14.6 volts and the ability for this BMS to handle flat out power straight to it? Well, well, let's find out. So right now, I have the positive to this just hanging there. And we're connected. So we're going to show you. Let me get that out there. I'm going to touch it up here. And now it's allowing. What? What? It's a, Why didn't it get a 1,000 amps? My battery bank. My, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. Damn it. It's on there, man. Look, look. This is the one going to the oops. This is the one going to here. Well, I'll focus out so you can see it. So, hey, man, that's unbelievable, man. There's trick bags in there. There's uh, that wire's green, uh, purple. Uh. No, man. And look, the amps are dropping. Now, why'd that happen? Feel that. Ooh, it's boiling hot. Oh, it's, it's cold. What? It's cold. Why? Why is it cold? Look at the voltage, man. That ought to be like... Fire. No, man, it's not. And the reason it's not is because, one, I'm using a meter. And the meter performs a function almost like a choke. Okay? Now, it's supposed to handle 150 amps, and it probably would for a microsecond. But it performs a little bit of a service for you. Not much. What's really doing it is what really matters. My wire gauge is too small. 
I can only feed about 20 amps through that wire, so the battery, ho oh, ho, the battery's not actually trying to pull, it's just simply accepting. So this battery's not a huge magnet, it's not gonna, oh, spider, oh, bastard. So it's, it's, not a, it's not like a big magnet on a um, recycling outfit, you know, where they lean down, pick cars up, and it's just gonna grunt, take it all. It, the, the battery is just, it's just allowing. It's allowing. There's no heat. It's just allowing. Now you have to use silicon wire style. And I'll put a link to these below the video, but I'll put a link to this and to these. And under these same circumstances, you can do this. And as it's taking in more power and bringing its levels up, the BMS will shut itself off when that gets to zero. And that's all it takes. So right now, you see it continue to drop. The BMS, you see how that voltage jumps a little, goes back down. That's the FETs coming on, going off, coming on, going off. And they're doing it in a row based on the availability coming through here. Now, you can do this with any one. I'd do it with the Power Queen. I did it over here with the batteries here. And this is a DC air conditioner. And are the batteries destroyed? Um, let's see here. Look at the arc. Nope, I'd say not. Okay. So, guys. All right. So, instead of you buying those chargers, you can if you want. You know, it's considered a safer way to charge. But the only things you really have to worry about in charging is lithium ion lithium ion and lithium ion is the problem you know if these contacts get a little warm it's because i'm losing contact you know you'll make sure they're good and tight but they don't generally they won't generally heat up i mean there it is right there in my hand there's no warmth i mean there's always a little warmth but i can't feel it you know wire heat always created but there you go BMS on, BMS off, you see? There's voltage. There's all these ampies. I'm getting later in the day, look at that, they're coming up. That one's already seen a peak, so it's shutting itself down some. So the same way these controllers start, like this one, tuning itself down, because we've reached full battery, okay? All right, <laughs> you guys, y'all don't need to go blow your money on crap that won't help you all the time, but if you're in a pinch, there you go. Parts underneath the video for what you need, and make sure you get the right. This, I'm gonna put the exact ones, okay? No warmth. It's not something you walk away from and leave because if you didn't do it right, you know, but generally, no problems, okay? Wire is what restricts flow. The BMS is what demands it, allows it, and shuts it off. And in this case, we're coming up real nice. And that's free power, you know, free. All right. You guys be good. Next video. I'm supposed to do this one this time. But price of them being pushed all over, that got me here today. All right. Adios.